Hi, this is Shep Hyken, customer service and experience expert, and on this video, I'm going to discuss how friction kills the customer experience. Merriam-Webster's defines the word friction three ways. The act of rubbing one thing against another, the force that causes a moving object to slow down when it is touching another object, and the disagreement or tension between people or groups of people. Now, if you tie this concept of friction to the concept of customer service, none of these definitions are very good. Looking at it from another angle, the opposite of friction is agreement or peace or harmony. Most of us would agree that we would like to have a customer experience without friction, one that is easy. Now, I think that's actually the best word, easy. When it comes to do business, especially customer service, the antithesis of an experience with friction is one that is easy. Customers hate friction in business. Unfortunately, it happens to us quite often, sometimes multiple times throughout the day. It's when we're put on hold, we're transferred to someone else, or when we have to repeat or complain or problem to numerous customer service reps. It's being stuck in a long checkout line and maybe dealing with traffic at a crowded parking lot. It's when we expect an item to be delivered on a certain day and it doesn't arrive. It's the sales rep that's late for a meeting, the long wait at a doctor's office, even though we were on time for the appointment. It's the cable TV guy that never shows up. It's anything that makes doing business with someone anything other than easy. So what's easy? Well, Amazon.com's one-click purchasing is easy. PayPal is easy. The automobile dealership that picks up my car for service instead of me having to drive it in is easy. Uber, the transportation company that's giving the traditional taxi industry a run for its money, is uber easy. Once you have an account with Uber, you don't even have to take money out to pay the driver, not even a tip. And now, Apple introduced iPhone 6 that includes Apple Pay, which effectively turns your mobile phone into a credit card. Sometimes you can substitute the word easy for convenient, like a bank that has extended hours so people who work during the day can do their banking on their way home or even on a Saturday. These are examples of easy, frictionless ways to do business. So, where are the friction points in your business? Or put another way, where do you find you're rubbing up against your customers or slowing down their progress or even having a complaint or a disagreement? What customers want is the opposite of friction. They want a customer service experience that is easy, which means no hassle, no problems, and no friction. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Please be sure to visit my website, which is www.hyken.com. There you'll find more information about my speaking programs as well as over 350 customer service articles that you can read and share with your colleagues. Thank you very much for watching. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.